Hey guys, this is Hydra from Max Trades, and today I'm going to be making a video about um, basic technical analysis. So I'm going to be going over support, resistance, and uh, trend lines in this video. And this is a pretty, um, I would say this is uh, pretty basic. So this is mostly intended for beginners, but um, advanced uh, traders can also use this as well. So um, yeah, first I'll just go over a couple of charts, and then I'll just uh, um, yeah, go go through the basics. So support is basically um, any place where price tends to bounce, basically, and resistance is the exact opposite. It's any place where price tends to reject or go down. So we'll take a look at this uh, Amazon example. So um, so this is the weekly chart on Amazon, and uh, I have a few lines drawn out here, and I'm going to exp uh, and I'm going to go through um, all these lines and what they mean. So this uh, we'll go over this line first. So notice how every single time Amazon comes down to this uh, 144 price, uh, it tends to bounce, right? It tends to bounce here, comes down again, and then bounces, right? So this 144 line is obviously uh, a place where buyers tend to um, buyers tend to show up and um, buy the, buy the stock, right? So every time we come back come down to 144, buyers uh, step up and push this price back up. And then this um, 171 line. Um, so notice every single time we get to this level, we tend to reject. So this is the first rejection, second rejection, third rejection fourth rejection right and then the fifth time we actually break out but uh, the breakout doesn't last too long either and then we just chop around for a while so this uh, level is also very important um, so we reject one two three four times right and then the fifth time it's successful when you see multiple rejections and then um, we were finally able to break out there's a good chance that um, it could lead to a big move for this case Amazon uh, wasn't able to do that but this is gen generally um, something that you want to look out for. And then this 188 level, so this is also another resistance level. So notice uh, we top out at 188, and then we end up chopping around for a little bit and then come back to 188 and reject again. So this is obviously another uh, resistance level that we want to take note of. And um, so yeah, after that, we end up chopping around again, and then we just fall back into this range, and then uh, we we end up undercutting this 143 level, so we actually go below, and then we form a hammer. So every time you see this type of uh, candle, uh, it's a bullish sign. So that means, um, so we undercut this, so it created a shakeout candle. So we, um, yeah, undercut all these, uh, or all the support line, and then we ended up bouncing um, from the lows, which is uh, 135. And then we make a pretty big bounce here, and then. Again, we touch this 135 level again, and then we bounce. So this 135 level is something to take note of. This is also another support level. And then, um, yeah, so 2022 happens, right? And then we enter this bear market, and Amazon completely flushes. So uh, when this line breaks, that, that would have been a that would have been a good short play. And then, um, yeah, we end up <coughs> we end up um, making a new support level here er, around 101.65. So um, many weeks we end up going down to this low and then bouncing off so this is another uh, key support level that we want to take note of and then we actually bounced all the way back to this uh, prior support level so before this used to be support this this is where price used to uh, bounce and uh, this support level turned into resistance so now that we're below this level um, when we touch it we actually end up rejecting now because this is a key level so um, yeah, and an important note is to remember that key levels or support levels can turn into resistance levels, and resistance levels can turn into support levels. So, um, yeah, this previously used to be support here, but now it's it's turned into resistance. And now, basically, Amazon's just been in a downtrend, and um, yeah, the only only key level right now. Um, so there's some support over here at 88. And uh, the next the resistance level, if Amazon does bounce, is 101.65. So those are the key levels for Amazon. And um, there is also a trend line here that we can draw. So notice every single time Amazon touches this trend line, um, it rejects. So 
until Amazon or so possibly Amazon could be chopping out for a while and then maybe we can see a breakout or we can end up making a third leg lower so we'll see what happens so now we'll just take a look at another chart for uh, more samples so let's take a look at Tesla here I right, tried to pause this video and try to uh, try to see if you can spot the support and resistance levels if you can okay I'm gonna get started so um, here's a clear support level right you bounce off once bounce off twice and then we tried to bounce here and ended up forming a hammer but now we're just currently chopping around it so this is a, definitely a key level that we want to be uh, looking at another key level here right many or like yeah for many weeks we were just chopping around this level we were trying to break up but we just failed so this is definitely a key level and we when we were finally able to uh, break it we had a pretty big move so um, yeah that's definitely an important level and then again watch um, at, when we reject here again we tried to we we're at this level again and we're unable to hold because resistance is just too strong can draw another level here so this is another resistance level notice many weeks we're just chopping around chopping around and then we finally break out and this is a good example of a trend line so so this would be a support trend line notice that we're actually flagging here so it's getting tighter and tighter tighter and tighter and then we finally break out and um, yeah that's pretty much it for Tesla so um, let me see if I'm missing any other points I would say I would say you could draw another support here notice many weeks we were at the support level and then we're actually chopping in between this range so for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten almost 10 to 11 weeks we were in this range stuck and then we broke out and then we failed back so um, yeah right now Tesla current analysis uh, next support level is 151 but we'll see if we're able to hold this 185 level if so then uh, we could possibly see a bounce to 212 and then there's also a pretty major downtrend forming for Tesla so so notice every single time we touch this line we end up rejecting so this is a very important trend line that we want to take note of and when this trend line breaks then uh, we could possibly be entering a new uh, uptrend, but for now, uh, the Tesla is clearly in a downtrend. And that's pretty much it for Tesla. Take a look at uh, one more. So, to NVIDIA. Again, um, you can try pausing the video and try to find the support and resistance level on your own, but um, yeah. I'm gonna get started. All right, clear support over here, right? S starts bouncing over here, bounces over here, and then we also bounce just uh, in October, uh, September time. And then resistance over here. Notice many rejections here. First rejection, second rejection, third, and then this time we actually break out, and then we form a very nice old flag. So yeah, this time we break out, but we form a very nice flag, and then we end up breaking out of the flag, and then we make a really big move. So this is this is an A plus setup right here. When we break out, and then we form a flag. This is an important setup, and something that you want to uh, make sure that you know. This setup uh, occurs many times. Uh, I'm sure you can if you look at like a bunch of different charts you'll see the same setup over and over again so this is a good setup to know I would say there's another resistance line around here we, we, we reject twice here and then a couple more times here See if we can get a trend line here. It's not a clear trend line on NVIDIA, for, in my opinion, 
maybe you could draw one over here uh, but this one doesn't connect this nicely usually I want to get it to like the top of the wicks or at least like the top of the candle or yeah but um, yeah, this one's so it's an okay trend line you get one touch two touch three touch and then on the fourth one you break out and so Nvidia I would say it's not in a downtrend anymore compared to like Tesla Tesla is still very deep in a downtrend but Nvidia I think has bottom tier it came all the way down to this uh, key support level and we bounced and now we're just uh, <coughs> yeah, we're just building and we're just slowly trending up higher and higher which is good um, so yeah, for NVIDIA, the next key level is 192. There's no real support or resistance till that point. And uh, uh, we want to make sure that we're holding on to this 146 level. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for NVIDIA. And then uh, we'll do one more actually. Um, so Netflix is a good one. So Netflix, there's no trend lines. Actually, there could be, but um, so first, clear resistance here, right? There's tons of rejections here on the weekly chart. And then we finally break out, and then again, we make a pretty nice bull flag. So similar to NVIDIA, we break out, make a bull flag, and then continue up higher. And then for NVIDIA, here's the support line. One, two, three, four, five, five touches there. Um, let's see. I'd say there's also also some prior support here and I would say this matches up with this level so this level was actually resistance before because it was rejecting around that area before and then we were finally able to break out and then every time we came back uh, this previous resistance line turned into a support um, I'd say there was some support here. One touch, two, two, you know, it was trying to bounce here, and then we finally flushed hard. I think this was because of uh, earnings report, but yeah, we flushed hard, and now we're uh, trying to build our way back up. Let's take a, let's take a look on the daily chart. So, let me adjust this line a little. So we got the bottom. So yeah, clear support here, right? Bounce, bounce, and then earnings drop. And then let me. So this is a very this this is a very key level for Netflix, two forty seven. Um, so this is where we first gap down, and then multiple rejections here, multiple rejections here, and then we finally break out. And then we um, <clears throat> yeah, we break out, we come back, we test this two forty eight level, and then we bounce again. Um, so yeah, right now I would say Netflix is doing. Uh, pretty well here compared to most stocks uh, like uh, like Amazon's clearly downtrending but Netflix is actually building higher highs here and it's actually yeah, trending quite nicely so this is a support trend line every time we touch we bounce this is a resistance uh, resistance trend line every time we touch we reject so now Netflix is tightening up here and I'm gonna guess we're gonna get to this 331 level and then we're either going to reject or break out hard. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Netflix. Um, but, yeah, that, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. And always feel free to DM me if you guys have um, yeah, any questions. Thank you.